I couldn't miss out on this entrepreneurial moment with Monique. Now, to begin, I'm already about equal pay, so I'm not even going to address that. Um, equal pay for everybody. Okay, I said that. Moving on. What we have with uh, Monique and her 500 k 500000 $500,000 is a moment where um, the market called her baby ugly. See, as entrepreneurs, as business owners, and people that want to chase our dreams, performers, artists, there's going to be a moment when someone calls your baby ugly. Your baby being your product or your uh, service that you, hear to, that you have to offer. What I want to remind business owners um, and dream chasers and artists is that you work for your market. Now, you can continue singing songs that your audience doesn't want to listen to, or you can continue building a product that no one's buying. Um, but if you're out to um, influence and, and trade and um, create an, uh, results, then you're going to work for your market. You're going to produce products that your market really wants from you. If the market tells you that you're worth a certain amount of money, then you need to create a product that matches that demand. Now, I'm telling you to maintain the integrity of your product and service and what's important to you, keep it exactly where it is. I'm not saying that you should shy from that or you should um, change your product or what you have to offer, but this is also an opportunity to grow your product and your service by producing a second product. If a client or a prospect asks you for their service at a lower rate than you think it's uh, then you think that you're worth, then this is the time where your business grows and now you have your platinum package, your gold package, and your silver, or your premium, and then your standard. Um, these are things that um, airlines do. These are things that Mercedes-Benz uh, have. They have different classes of cars. And so make a second product. There's some people that can't afford the things that we think want to put out in the market but it is our responsibility as entrepreneurs to create a product that our market wants as well another thing i want to remind you is that you'll never get what you're worth you'll only get what you negotiate so this is a thin line between being overpaid for a product that might not be that great because the market says so or being underpaid and having a great product that uh the market loves now, the deal is, it's, it's what's more important to you. Longevity and influence is going to have to come with some humility. And there's going to be times where you're going, to, you're going to produce something that might not be what you think it's worth, but you also produce something that shows its value for the next opportunity that comes its way. I want to talk about entitlement. Entitlement will kill you. Back when Monique was hungry, I'm almost confident that she would not turn down $500,000. Same thing for your business. If somebody's looking for your services and is looking for something less than what you have to offer, it doesn't mean that's what you're worth. It means that's, a demand, that's the demand of the market, and it's up to you if you want to meet it. Because if not, the market is going to find somebody else. Don't leave money on the table. There's always going to be a million people that are going to want to take your spot including me. So dream chasers, entrepreneurs, business owners, do not get offended or get distracted when someone calls your baby ugly. This is an opportunity to listen, to learn, and create a new product that the people actually want, which would be a prettier baby, but I digress. Last thing. We all are going to be tested in life and we will be expected to show up. We cannot sit out on these blessings during our journeys chasing the dream. Don't miss out on your blessings just because it didn't look good at first. So, entitlement will kill you. Stay hungry. Stay humble. Don't leave money on the table. I'm Ron. I'll catch you later.